Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy with Van Anna Company. It's Wednesday, September 6th. I'm going to go over the markets with you. So uh, strength here into these grain markets and majority of the meat markets as well. So uh, nothing too big, but you did have corn close up about two and a half cents. Same situation with beans. Beans had a little bit of a wider trading range. Started off a little bit on the lower side of things, came up about seven cents higher. Couldn't hold it together, but did stay on the positive side. Same situation into the wheat markets with uh, both Chicago and Kansas City. Slightly positive. Minneapolis, though, the one finally gaining some strength as it's been the weaker market here over the last about week or two. So up 15 and a half cents on the day. So a lot of strength coming into there. Uh, you also had that strength, like I said, into the meat market. So live cattle, feeder cattle slightly higher. Lean hogs for the most part higher as well, but you did have October just a little bit weaker, down 20 cents, probably due to just some rolling of some contracts going on, um, some spreading going on between the front month of hogs and deferred. So that's why you saw that weaker. Outside markets were quiet, uh, but they were a little bit on the friendly side with crude market higher. Dow market higher, dollar steady to slightly lower as well. Uh, there's not a whole lot of news out there, but it seems to be some buyers into the market. You did have an announcement that you will see Vietnam start allowing imports of USDDGs again. Uh, so that could be what was friendly to the corn market today as well. But overall, kind of just a wait and see type of mentality until we can get to USDA's 12th report uh, to see what they decide to do with yields and kind of go from there. Otherwise, we're kind of just stuck in a little bit of a trading range where for now, technicals seem a little bit friendly. If you can get a close above that 971 and three quarters on November beans, that should open a price count to 990 on a technical side. Whether it gets there or not, we'll have to see. Uh, but for now, there just seems to be some limited sellers into the market. Other than that, watching to see um, what we get, we're going to be pushed back a day, so we'll get exports here on Friday instead of tomorrow just because of the holiday. Uh, so there shouldn't be any real new news around this market for a little bit. I do have to close with a disclaimer. Trading in futures and options involves risk loss. may not be suitable for all producers. Have a great day.